the mind to me in devotion. Mayeva mana adhatsva, bring your mind to me. Mai buddhim niveshaya, then thereafter pierce that instrument, that symbol with your rational thinking. To contemplate upon what the symbol stands for. This is called a breaking the idol. We in India are not idol worshippers. Only the Western people, they come there and see the idol and say, idol worshippers. <coughs> and they forget that in their church also there is idol. They may worship or may not worship, but idols are there. <coughs> Cross is also an idol. The chalice that they use is also an idol. The Jesus that is hanging there is also an idol. The cross is a symbol. But they, 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 when you were colonizers, they are, and masters, and therefore they could do anything, illogical or logical. They just laugh that, saying that you are idol worshippers. Without an idol, you cannot. Is there not your national flag an idol? The national flag is not your nation. The flag represents the nation. Does my friend, ah, why are you hanging a cross on your neck? At least when it pricks you, remember, oh, you hail Jesus. Why? It's a cross that is pressing me. Similarly, mala. Why are the masters or everybody wears a mala? Rudraksha. The eye of Rudra, the Lord Shiva. Shiva is watching. His eyes are there. Rudra Kshamara. It's all symbolism. Ah. So then a form is necessary for the mind to lift itself. And when the mind is seeing that form, you are not worshipping the form. A picture, a photo of your child and you kiss it. It's not the paper that you are kissing. Any piece of paper will not give you that satisfaction. But when you look at the child, you remember that pulsating child, the mischievous one, which has got all the qualities of its mother. And you had it. Because I can't waste the child. The photo gives me satisfaction. It's an idol. Thus, bring your mind in devotion to my altar. Thereafter, with your rational intellect, pierce through it, meaning come to contact the ideal that the idol represents. When I am looking at the picture of my girlfriend, I am looking at the piece of paper, but I am seeing in my intellect that vivacious, stupid girl far away, is it not? In the same way, bring your intellect to contemplate upon me, who is represented in the eye which the mind is hugging on. Atavurdham, thereafter, when you are both your mind, emotional and rational thoughts have quietened itself at the altar with no other thoughts in your mind. Nivasishyasi mayeva, you merge, you move, glide into my state of consciousness. Thereafter. Nasam Sheha, there is no doubt about it. Because it is not something rational that you can give the reasoning. It is beyond the intellect. It is the experience of the great masters. That if you can quieten all your emotional and rational thoughts exclusively of him, 
you glide from your present state of consciousness effortlessly into this new dimension you may call it as god state of consciousness